Welcome to Kiunga location, some 87 kilometers from Lamu town along Kenya's Indian Ocean. The residents of the location, which borders Somalia, had no access to clean fresh water until 2021 upon completion of the Kiunga Water and Sanitation Extension Project that was funded by Water Sector Trust Fund with financial support from the Danish International Development Agency under the Green Growth and Employment Program. Paul Kimani, the Acting Managing Director of Lamu Water and Sanitation Company, which is the project's implementing partner, says it was a desperate situation as the 4,500 residents of the location were consuming saline water. They had to rely on uh, salt water from shallow wells and uh, probably they would go get water from Mangai River, which is about 40 kilometers away in Boni Forest. And then um, with the issues of uh, insecurity that existed there before, that uh, really you know, pushed the people of Kiunga to the wall. They didn't have anywhere to get water. Kiunga Water and Sanitation Project cost about 38 million Kenya shillings. The project involved putting up a desalination plant that removes salt from two shallow wells, thereby purifying the water and making it fit for consumption. The plant is powered by these 242 solar panels that produce 72 kilowatts of electricity per day. You know, a month we could consume diesel of about um, 200 to 300,000 shillings, you know. Yeah, so that saves us a big time in terms of uh, O&M. We do no longer have to invest in that because we're getting free energy from the sun. The desalination plant, uh, we currently have two, one producing 5,000 liters of water and another producing 2,000 liters of water. You now we're getting about 7,000 liters of water per hour. And in a day, we're getting about um, you know, 60,000 liters. That water is stored in a sump tank of about 50,000 liters and then uh, pumped upward to a still elevated tank of about 50,000 liters again. It is at that point whereby we release that water, we gravitate it to the village, whereby we have done a 15 kilometer water supply pipeline connecting every single house in the Kiunga village. So now instead of the residents of Kiunga going miles away to get water, they stay in the houses and wait for the water to come into their own kitchen. Hapo kama nini kikisia jerikeni moja ndo ni kiitumia, mengino tekalea kisimani. Kwa sababu hatu kifanya ndo ya kupikia na kuno na kupikia chai. Manake tukifaya lazima tutumia kwa kama kisio. Kwa sababu maja likuwa na shida. Lakini kwa hivi sasa, maja ya na shida tunafulia, tunaogea, tunapikia. Ha, lakini ile kupimo cha zamani uwe kwa kuna. The project also involved the construction of this water kiosk where residents access water at a fee. Sasa kumbuke kama isai moja kutoka hapa pa kufika kwenye maji. Ikiwa naenda haraka haraka. Masa mawili kuenda na kurudi. Sasa ikiwa ni jerikeni moja lita shirini ujua wezi tulesheleza ni mani. Unawana sasa ni shida. Lakini tukenda kwa mashini pale tunatoa shilingi mbili na sumni na pata jerikeni moja ya maji. The land where the station sits was donated by Kiunga Primary School after consultations with community members. The school not only benefited from the water, but also had their sanitation challenges resolved through installation of ventilated improved pit latrines, hand washing facilities, and an 8,000 liter plastic tank that serves a population of 717 students and 20 staff members. We had shortage of the learners and the teachers and friends. We had only four doors for the boys and four doors for the girls and only two for the teaching staff and also the non-teaching staff. There was a lot of time wasting when the boys and girls were lining up there waiting to go for a short or even a long call. We came now to get better and good ultra modern toilets through the waterfront because they came up constructed 16 doors for the boys and 12 doors for the girls which are enough at the moment everything now is running well no time wastage no absenteeism 
Eh, the level of hygiene is high and it is good. So now we can be able to see the advantages of that particular project. The Water Fund resident engineer for Lamu County, Kenneth Wandogo, says the community was fully involved during the implementation of the project. Uh, when we procured a contractor to do these works, there are those activities that were given directly to the locals here. For instance, the excavations of the pipelines, the logistical means of moving our mobilizing materials to site, because uh, generally the challenge with this place is uh, uh, logisticals of uh, transport, those challenges. So some of those works are to be done by the locals to bring the machines that had been brought from Nairobi to this place. They were dropped at the seashore and they had to be ferried to this place. Indeed, residents of Kionga have a story to tell, that of once a water scarce village, but now it's all smiles. Ah, ule mda kutumia 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 kutumia